you are. Man, you are lucky the taxi cab's not here yet. Taxi? How come you're taking a taxi? Because, Dr. Dent, you had to go hood surfing on my car, that's why. No, I mean, how come you're not taking the bus? And for your information, it's not my fault that your hood is too flimsy to hold me up. No, you don't call up a taxi cab and then not even be there when they show up. I mean, it's not right. Yeah, but he's late. I mean, how do you know he's coming? How do you know he didn't have an accident? I mean, there's a bus leaving from the south entrance at 12 o'clock. We can just make it. Uh, I don't know. The bus is way cheaper than a taxi. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Yeah, let's go. You want some help with this bag? No, thank you. Hey, are you positive this is the bus stop? Because I don't see a bus. Yes, I'm positive. The south entrance is 12 o'clock. South entrance? Finley, this is the east entrance. No, this is the south entrance. And that's why the bus is leaving. Wait! Bus! Back here! Wait! Wait, come back! Come back! Come back. <laughs> oh. How come I left him over here? Here? Because here is the south side! Well, when did they change that? They didn't change! Oh, never mind. My own fault. Why do we even bother listening to you? Well, don't blame me. How was I supposed to know they changed the signs? No bus. No taxi. Come on. We're walking. Well, wait a minute. How come you're going that way? That, that way's a lot closer. No, no, no. We're going my way this time, Mr. Eagle Scout. I don't like that way. Why? Because it's too much in the right direction? No, it's just, it's just so far. I mean, if I could die out there, no one would find me. Uh -huh. mm. Yes. No, 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 that would be wrong. Are we going or not? Are you coming with me? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Are we there yet? You know, we can switch bags if you want to. Oh, no. No way. This is my birthday present for Jerry's birthday party, and I'm going to carry it all by myself. Fine. Jeez. You know, you want to get Jerry his own present, that's okay. You don't have to get nuts about it. Oh, I'm not getting nuts. You're nuts. I'm not nuts. Oh, you're nuts, baby. Just forget it. Do you have any idea this parking lot was so big? It's because we're entering. Corner of Doom. What you talking about, Willis? Did you ever notice how every single mall parking lot has an abandoned corner? Kind of like the Bermuda Triangle. Nobody ever goes there. Legend has it. People enter, but they rarely come back. It's the corner. Doom. They could build another mall out here. And they'd have to build another corner of Doom. And then they could build another mall. And then they could. It would never end. Wow, my brain hurts. What did it do out here anyway? Well, I, my feet are sticking to something. <laughs> Me too. It's all over the place. It's gum. This entire corner is covered with nasty, spit out wads of gum. Uh, David, I think I need a pull. All right, all right, hold on. One, two, three. No, don't stop. Keep going. Come on. I didn't stop. My feet stopped. What? All right, hold on. One, two, three. Ow, you're pulling off my arm. What are you telling me? Are you telling me that you're stuck? No, you're pulling off my arm. But I'm also stuck. Okay, hold on. Maybe I could, maybe I could get your shoes or... Uh, guess what? I don't want to play. I just want to get out of here. Okay, we're both stuck. We can get out of this. All we got to do is think. Think? Yes, think. about bread. And then I thought about those little plastic bags that always come in in the cereal boxes, and about how hard they are to open. And then I thought about bread again. And then I was thinking about... Smedley! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Maybe you didn't understand the nature of the assignment. See, we are here to think about one thing. Just one, okay? And that one thing is getting us out of here! Well, did you think of anything? No. You don't mean? Yes. Yes, I mean we are stuck in gum in the middle of the corner of doom with no hope in sight. Well, what are we going to do? There's only one thing we can do. Help! 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 Please! Help! 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 We're stuck! Help! 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 DTV, a Smedley production. We'll be back after these messages. And now, back to more David D. TV. Hey, Smedley, you think that sounded like me? <laughs> anybody? Uh, Can anybody hear us? We're stuck in gum. We're gonna die. Smedley, Hunter. Uh, Smedley. What? Just calm down. This is no time to panic. No time to panic? Maybe you haven't noticed that our feet are cemented to the mall parking lot, hundreds of feet from civilization, with no means of rescue in sight. I say it's panic time. Now, hold on. Calm down. This is really getting us nowhere. Now, listen. Between the two of us, we ought to be able to come up with an idea, right? Oh, I don't know. You know how my brain hates the word. Smedley, this is important. Now listen to me. We've got to somehow combine our brains and think like we've never thought before. This could be some of the most important thinking we've ever done, or will ever do. Now listen, we have to use our brain power to its fullest, and we can't stop until we come up with an idea. Now, are you with me? I'm with you, Dave. Are you with me? I'm with you, Dave! And think, man! Think! my body there for a second. I think I understand the plot of Mission Impossible. Oh, that's wonderful. But what about getting our feet unstuck from the ground? Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, we take our shoes off. Wait a minute. You mean take our shoes off, uh -huh. leave them here, walk across the blazing hot asphalt parking lot in our bare, unprotected feet until they get covered with wads of chewing gum and finally cemented to the 200-degree blacktop where they will be seared into crispy little sizzling strips of bacon, at which time we'll pass out from the pain, falling over and breaking our ankles, gluing our entire limp and lifeless bodies to the gum-littered ground, where we will remain helpless until we are attacked by a rolling pack of wild dogs and eaten alive. Hmm. Yeah, what do you think? Hmm. The plan has its merits. Well, let's shoot for something that doesn't end up with us dead. Yeah, yeah, good point. So what's your idea? My idea? <laughs> my idea. My idea was not to come this way to start with. Oh, I see. This is my fault. I specifically said I wanted to go the other way. But you, the Pathfinder, had to go this way. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? As I recall, I don't believe it was my idea to watch the bus leave without us. Hey, that used to be the south side. No, it didn't. Admit it, Smedley. You were wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Oh, I was wrong, all right. Mm-hmm. Wrong to be friends with a guy who has to be right all the time. Oh, oh, I can't believe this. You're lucky I'm here to bail you out of trouble, which is only, oh, I don't know, 50 times a day. Oh, I can take care of myself. Just leave me alone. Fine, I will. Fine, you do that. Fine, I will. Good. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> Because our legs are going to give out, we're going to fall over and we're really going to be stuck in this gum. 
Now, I think I have an idea. What? You give me the bag, right? I give you back your present. I rip the bag in half. I set it down on the ground. We have plenty of time to But it'll get stuck in the gum! Okay, Smelly, it'll get stuck in the gum, but it's just a bag. And I can put the presents on the bag, and we can have a place to sit down. All right. Okay. Thank you. Just don't look at my presents, all right? Oh, okay. I won't look at the precious presents. You know what? At this point, I don't care what's in the bag. I don't care what he's getting for his birthday. All I care about is sitting down before falling down. Now, if my calculations aren't correct... Yes! Okay. Oh, perfect. This is gonna work out great. Here we go. Oh! oh. Woo! Yes. Yeah. I don't think I could have lasted another minute. Oh, come on, Samantha. Would you just sit down already? Dancing camel? No, no! The guy on the bike! Oh, I that. He, I think he's coming this way. Hey! Hello! Hello. Over here! Hello! Hello! Over oh. here! Mr. Bike Guy! This way! We're stuck! We're stuck in the gum! Over here! stuff and I'll look in mine. But this is for Jerry. Hey, listen. We cannot give our presents to Jerry if we're dead now, can we? Please, look in your bag. I think, I'm, uh, <laughs> I think I'm getting somewhere with this. You know, even if you got your foot loose, where would you go? I mean, you just step in more gum. Oh, you're right. What else you got over there? Hey, wait a minute, that's my yeah. stuff. Silly string. You know what we could do? We could, we could spray out a big message for planes, and you could, you could signal them with, the, with that shiny thing. That's what, do it. But, no, no, wait, I want to do it. No, I'm, I'm doing, doing it. it, all right? That's my string. I'm, I want to do it nice. I am doing it nice. Oh, come on. I cursed the letters. No, do man, a rescue letters. message should be in plain letters. Ah, where'd you learn that? Rescue school? Do it right. I am doing it right. Let go of my arm. Control freak. I'm not a control freak. I just <laughs> want to do it my way. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what'd you spell there? Hello. Yeah, that's nice. When the rescuers find our dead bodies, at least they'll know we were friendly. I was trying to write help, and I would have gotten there had you not grabbed my arm. Yeah, help in tiny two-foot-high slanty letters no one could read ten feet away. Well, at least I tried. Oh. It was my silly string. I'm just trying to get us out of here. Hey. You want to pound for a while? No, I'll keep reflecting for planes. <laughs> oh man, just think of the story we are going to have to tell Jerry when we get to his party. Oh yeah. We got yeah. stuck in the corner of doom. I'm sure we'll have a great time telling it. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. What do you mean, I don't know? What? Well, you know, it's just that... Sometimes you can be a little, you know. No, I don't know. What? You hear that? Is that an airplane? 
tell you how bad this is. Do your best. Well, we got a big problem. The sun's gonna set any minute now, which means it'll be dark in about an hour. Which means if nobody finds us within an hour, we're gonna be stuck here all night. Help! Help! Help, Help anybody! Help! Help us, Help. please! We're coming back with more David D TV right after these messages. And now, back to more David D. TV. Hey, Smedley, you think that sounded like me? Oh, man. What are we going to do? we got to get out of here before it gets dark. What else do we have over there? Oh, no, you don't. You leave my stuff alone. Haven't you done enough? Huh. Just face it, no one's looking. No one drives by here. To anyone else, we just look like two guys having a picnic in the middle of the parking lot. No big deal. Face it, we're doomed. Sure could go for some chicken. Two blocks. Thanks. Crashing my plane always makes me hungry. You're not gonna ask him to rescue us? I think he's got enough on his plate. What does he want chicken for? You know, I think we could probably find a way out of here if we would just cooperate. Cooperate? Oh, yes. David's Dictionary defines cooperate as to grab someone else's silly string and use it all up. What is your deal? Did you ever think that maybe I want to do something on my own for once? What is this about? I mean, I can't figure out what's been bugging you all day. Does this have something to do with the birthday party? Well, yes, as a matter of fact. It's just that, I don't know, sometimes I don't get to do stuff the way I want to because, you know, you're always like... Trying to... Uh, help out so much, I end up taking control of everything. Yeah. I totally understand. You do? Yeah. I mean, sometimes I just can't sit back and watch somebody else do something without, you know, trying to help out myself if I think I can do it better. And I can understand you thinking I'm totally trying to take over. Yeah, that's right. So, you're not like... No! No, no I totally understand. In fact, I'm, uh... I'm kind of glad we had this little, you know. Yeah. Next time you want to do something by yourself, you just tell me to butt out. Hit the road. Get lost. Take a long walk up a short pier. <laughs> Make like a tree and leap. Go cover yourself in chocolate and stand on that hill, and then jump off a bridge and eat worms and die. <laughs> okay, that's, that's going too far. Yeah. You know what? We uh, still got to find a way out of here. Well, hey. Maybe we have some things that we can use together. What do you mean? Well, I have a remote controlled truck and some pixie sticks. What do you have? Well, see here, I got a twister game and an Instamatic camera. Oh, oh, I know. We could take your remote controlled truck and send it out across the parking lot, put a note on it. You got a pen? No. But wait a minute, what about your camera? We could take a picture of us in distress and attach that to the truck. Oh, yes. What a great idea. You know, I can put the twister mat down so the truck can make it across most of the gum field. Yeah, and I can use the remote to steer it through the rest. You know, it's risky, but this is a plan that just might work. Now, let's take that picture. Wait a minute. Can we stand up? Yeah. Well, what should we do? I mean, they have to be able to look at the picture and tell that we're in trouble. Hey, maybe like this. No, no, we're not being strangled. Oh, oh how about this? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Now the gum's getting harder. All right, ready? I'm counting to three. One, two, three. 
Oh, I think I have my eyes closed. Yeah, good one. Hey! Oh, what about red dots? Oh, it's fine, Fabio. Now here, your job, attach it to the car, all right? And I will lay out the twister mat. Make sure it doesn't come off. Okay, over the gun. Got the car. Wait, where's the picture? It's on the bottom. Oh, good call, MacGyver. You stuck it with gum. Thank you. All right, are we ready? I got the remote. Car on. Check. Power on. Check. Release the car. What's wrong? I can't do this. Mr. Well, here, give me that. I'll... No. No. You're going to do it. You are going to do it, Beverly. You know why? Because you can do it. There's nobody better at pushing buttons and levers than you. Now, you're the man. If anybody can do this, you can. Come on, Smedley. You do this. could do this. We both did it. We did it together. What? Where'd it go? It, what it, happened? It, it's gone. I mean, the thing just disappeared. Must have fallen into a hole. Oh, an open manhole cover. <sighs> that robot was our last hope. Sorry for acting like a jerk all day. And what about Jerry's party? Nah, forget it. You know. Yeah, I know. Nice sunset. Look at that. Picture stick? Huh? Who to the gods? If Smedley doesn't break anything, we'll be back with more after this. We're back. More David D. TV. Hey, pal, you guys okay? What? Smedley? Send the cabbages packing! No, wait, wait. Smedley, look. <laughs> We're rescued. You guys ought to know better than to enter the corner of Doom. Yeah, well, uh, unfortunately, we know that now. So how'd you find us? Well, some sewer guys found this clogging up the drain with a picture of some partying dorks. <laughs> hey. So, uh, here you go. You think you'll be able to get us unstuck here? No problem. Looks like you guys really stick together. <laughs> yeah. I'll go get my glue remover. Uh, ow! Oh! Stiff! Stiff! You know what I'll do? I'll just call Jerry and see if the party's still on. We might make it. Uh, David? What is that? It's a pocket microwave. What does it look like? It's... David? What color is the sky in your world? What? Smithley, it's a phone. I always carry a phone with me just in case of... emergency. Uh, and 
Now, before you get too angry, just remember that I learned not to be pushy, right? That's my new thing. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, so it's actually kind of good we got stuck out here in the corner of Doom. You want to hurry with that glow remover, please? <laughs>